All right, we have some flooding over here, so we had to move the torture machine over here. Seven's our leader this morning, and we're doing a hundred, what are they called? Crunches. And he said, it's, it's like this, it's not that much work. And I said, yeah, it says a 12 year old boy hasn't had six kids, then tell me, tell me how it's much work. <laughs> Three, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, yeah. motherfucker, yeah! You got it. 97, 98, 99, 100, good job. Good job, guys, you got this. You got it. Mmm, that smells so good. I wish I could share it with you. And the pustules of pellagra swelled on their sides. That means they were sick. The great companies did not know that the line between hunger and anger is a thin line. We're reading The Grapes oh, of Wrath no. by John Steinbeck to the kids. It's actually the copy that I had from high school. Yeah. No! I'm trying to see what we have here for the marathon. Two years ago, Ben bought matching shorts. See these matching shorts and then had his mom put C's on it and then for each marathon these were sevens uh, you have an arrow here and then we have matching tank tops as well but the kids they're not done growing yet so I need to figure out which ones still fit and if we need to order more I don't think we're gonna have to order more which I'm glad about but I need to make sure. So I'm gonna need to have the kids try some stuff on and make sure it fits and stuff. It's still up in the air whether or not we're gonna have her run the marathon. She did amazingly well with the half marathon. Right, I wanna show you this guy. But it's hard because should we push it, push our luck and well, was she able to do a full even though it was relatively easy for her to do a half? So we're still trying to figure that out. I'm heading in to play racquetball now, and I don't really film this very often, even though I play racquetball every Monday, and every once in a while, I get to play it on a Wednesday or Friday like I'm doing today. It's really like one of the few only consistent activities I really do away from the family, and I really enjoy it, because I've been playing racquetball for like <clears throat> almost 30 years. I hope I win today.
fun playing racquetball. We ended up winning two out of three games. But actually, the thing that I'm the most excited about today is going on a date with Cami. But before we do that, we're gonna do a Q&A. Okay, I just got home and drank this beer really, really quick, which is a Rainier beer from Washington. Look at that. That's beautiful. Check out that mountain right there. Oh, yes. Because um, seven years ago today, I was in Portland and I met a homeless guy and I invited him to teach my kids how to sew leather. Then he came and taught my kids how to sew leather. And then I found out it was his 21st birthday, so I went and took him out for a beer and Neither of us liked beer, but we ordered Rainier beer. He, now he lives two doors down from us, and now I come home, and he's sitting on my thing, so I said, happy birthday. I happened to bring these back from Washington, and we both drank one. I drank mine really quick. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try and answer all these questions in less than a minute each. That'll keep us on task. Go. On Instagram, Bree Briona asks, when's your next live stream? April 23rd, 8 p.m. Eastern time. How was your high school experience? I was kind of a loner. I didn't really like high school. I wore really baggy clothes, had my hair dyed a lot of different colors, and one year I only wore Christian t-shirts to school. Um, did you ever expect the life you have now? No way, not me. No, but I'm not surprised by it. I'm not surprised either because I feel like I knew we were gonna have a life of adventure. I didn't know it was gonna be this kind of adventure. Yeah, we thought we'd be like in Africa or something. Mm -hmm. That's okay, we have seven seconds left. Hydini on Instagram asks, if vlogs were suddenly able to edit themselves, magic, what would you do with all of your extra time? In a way, you're not doing much. Yeah, it feels like anymore. magic having Seven do it. I don't know, that's a really good question. I think we would do more writing, which is what we're planning well, on gonna, doing. You're gonna be finishing your book. My goal is to finish my book. Yes, that is a goal. Um, I don't know what we would do with the extra four hours, but there's a lot of things on our kind of like to-do list, back burner, that I would like to think we'd be more thorough at. <laughs> Clean our bedroom. <laughs> Cass, Amy says, in one video, I remember hearing Cammy say about not shaving her legs for a long time. How did Ben feel about that? Did it gross him out? I started growing mine out. My husband makes comments that hurt my feelings. Big one. Ben did not care about it. It didn't gross him out. There are things that Ben prefers that maybe I do or don't do. You know, I try to please him um, in some areas and then also, but if he's saying things that hurt my feelings, I would be honest with your husband about that and say, hey, you know what? When you say this, that hurts my feelings. Maybe you could say that a little differently. I think there's two things that are important to us in regards to looks. One is we both try and serve the other person. Mm -hmm. So I, I want Cammie to, if she cares about how I look, I would like to submit my preferences to her preferences. But second of all, we also want to help the other person kind of shine instead of make, I, I didn't marry Cammie just because I wanted her to be who I wanted her to be. I married her for who she was. Mm -hmm. oh. Carly Rosie asks, what do you think will be your next big family trip? We're planning a trip to Israel in two months. Not of the family though. Uh, yeah. Not part it, of the family. It's us and three kids and we're gonna be going to London on the way there and Paris on the way back. Although Paris is only for three hours. Rainier needs to get a passport and evidently to get a passport you need to get a birth certificate. Which we don't have. And evidently to get a birth certificate you gotta like do some stuff like that involves paperwork. The Acre Cassie, who is a mother of five. I'm a little rough around the edges and too consumed with cleaning and organizing as a way of dealing with chaos. I'm curious how you both deal with the idea of cleanliness and how you manage the stigma around large families being a shock to many people in public. As far as the cleaning goes, I, I have like a really long journey. Um, I used to be really OCD about cleaning and it used to totally consume my days. 
But now I feel like I'm, there's a lot of freedom there for me. I'm able to leave messes more than I used to and I'm able to say, hey, this is more important than cleaning right now. Cleanliness is a tool, not the goal. Um, large families in public, I don't know. I kind of, I don't mind conflict, so I kind of like the shock. I think it's a good reminder for people to realize that family is important and just seeing large families. I think you need to know what you believe inside because you're going to get comments and stuff and they're going to throw you. I just wanted to use the full minute. All right, on Instagram, Kita Bonita asks, one of the things I love about your channel is that as soon as I click a video, it plays without an ad. That's rare these days, although I totally get why they are used. My question is, do you choose not to monetize your videos? If so, why? Or is there another reason behind it? You have a good following, so why not make a few extra bucks? That is a great question, Kita Bonita, and we are glad that you noticed. Yes, there is a button, and we have unclicked it, so there will not be any advertisements on our video. I would say there's two main reasons. One is we really care about our viewers, and although a lot of people have expressed that they don't care about seeing advertising, we think advertising is very expensive on people's lives. If you look at our lives and the amount of crap that we have, there's a reason why we're buying it. And we don't think subliminal messaging is good for people. Um, so we don't want you guys to be exposed to it unless we need to, and we don't. The second thing is, this is like really personal to us, these messages. Um, and we feel like this is a spiritual calling for us. Like we do this because it's what we were made to do. So it's kind of confusing for us to have like, let's say our birth video and then a Chiquita banana commercial pop up just so we can make a few cents. I don't know. We we would feel conflicted by that. Yeah, yeah. so it's important for us. That's it. <laughs> Give me 10 more seconds, please. If you do want to support us, you can do it on Patreon, but our goal is that it will always be optional. That people that support us do it because they want to, not because they feel tricked and to watch an advertisement. We would, we would much rather get money from people who want to give their money to us instead of make it some slimy, sneaky way. On Instagram, Everthine Paris asks, investing for beginners. I want to know how to invest some money and have it work for me. We, I think, are the wrong people to ask. I have wasted millions of dollars on investments from a financial perspective, and all I can say is... That's what you've learned from that. I have learned a lot, but my viewpoint on investing has changed. So, I don't view dollars as just a way to get more dollars, and most investments are thought of that way. So my advice for someone in terms of learning about life would be to invest in things and people that are close to you that you care about. That way, when you invest, you get more than money, potentially. You actually build knowledge, wisdom, relationships, things that will matter over eternity. When you invest in just like a 401k, the best case scenario you'll ever get is money. Last question from Facebook is from Faith. How has your family's participation in 12-step groups affected the way you participate in or view the Christian church experience? Wow, good question. Holy crap, one minute. I'm gonna go, you go stop me. No, you just go. Um, you just go. It, this has been huge because what we experienced in 12-step groups is what I had always heard about in church but never seen practice. Things like actual confession. You know, I heard confession in vague terms. People say like, well, nobody's perfect. In 12-step groups, there was people that confessed because their life depended on it. And this goes to my second point. 12-step groups were, are filled with the types of people that actually know that they need God. No one goes to a 12-step group because it's cool or just to alleviate their conscience, in my experience. They go there because they feel like they're gonna die if they don't. And that's the type of spirituality we want. Mm -hmm. We don't want church to be this add-on 10% spirituality to make me a little cooler. Time for a date night. This is like confusing enough as it is. And then there's like a meter for there. I don't think we have a meter. It's 6.30 and that says, oh, let's go. Tip. 
tonight we are going to one of our favorite restaurants, which is the Brazilian Steakhouse. Because it's date night, because it's super awesome and fun, and we have like a buy one, get one free deal. So that's like a win-win. It's right over there. That one looks good. They all look good. We're not getting that, it's like $15. Yeah, yeah. Look at how many kinds of olive oil and balsamic vinegar they have. Yes. Oh, you can't eat that stuff. I like these. Okay, this is where they try and bring these like, it's an all you can eat meat place and they try and bring all these heavy cheap carbs that make you fill up. But you gotta save it for the meat. We gotta get rid of all this stuff. This, can we send this away? Okay, let's send this away. What about, we don't need these, right? Yeah, I don't like them. Okay, let's get rid of those. What about these? I just have like one more. Okay, we'll share it. Well, let's have one bite. Okay, now let's get rid of these too. Okay. Yeah, we'll get those out of there, thanks. That's what makes them start bringing the meat. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So basically, it's an hour and a half of that, going from eating filet mignon and ribeye, and then going back and filling up on smoked salmon, and doing that over and over and over again. <laughs> now, let's hope that our car is still there. There it is. We get to go home tonight. 